guys, this is Alex Pastor and today I'm gonna let you know everything you need to know about boots. So when is a good time to start riding boots? I get that question a lot of the time and for me uh, the most important is that you can really control your kite. So you can set up your boots, you can let go your kite and at the same time you're tight up, tightening up your boots. So that will be a good point to start. And also um, when you want to do tricks on boots you want to um, do most of the stuff unhooked. Because if you start doing hooked in tricks with boots, uh, it's a little bit more risky because most of the time you could catch an edge if you fall, so it will be a bit more painful. So if you are doing most of the hooked in tricks, maybe you prefer to ride straps. So how to get the right size for you? Um, what I do is I try the boots first. Um, you could get an idea without trying, but if you try it's much better. Um, boots should be... Um, as small as possible but without having to flex your toes when you get your foot, your foot in because they are made with a material that's uh, most of the time memory foam so uh, they're gonna get bigger and they're gonna add up to your feet but if the boots are too big for that then your feet's gonna be moving at the end and it's not gonna be perfect so when you're landing strong your feet could be slightly forward so yeah basically if you can get your boots as tight as possible from the beginning, it's going to be much more comfortable. If you want to know what type of board you should ride, uh, I will really uh, recommend a board that has a lot of rocker, something like the Livewire we have here or even the Airrush Apex on the, on the range, but I wouldn't ride any beginner boards or very flex boards because if they don't have enough rocker, all, they're going to spray a lot of water to your, to your face, so it's not going to be very comfortable. About the stance, that really depends on the person. Um, what I say normally is like the wider stance you have, you're gonna have a bit less pop, but you're gonna land better. So a narrow stance will get you a lot of pop, but then it's gonna be a little harder to control yourself when you're landing. I usually go for middle stance, um, about 178, uh, 180. So I go for 50 centimeter stance, which is the same as uh, my hands like this together, so this is what most people should get, something uh, in the middle, not too narrow, not too wide, and that should work very good for you. Okay, so once we have our stance, uh, we're gonna get that stance and uh, we're gonna simulate a landing. So what we're gonna do is basically fall down and we're gonna see on what angle our knees are gonna go with our current stance. And this is basically the, how, how much angle our feet are gonna have. Um, Average for what I said, you know, personal 180, 50 centimeters. We usually go for like 30, 32 degrees, something like that, not too much more. And obviously, if you're taller and you have the same stance, then you're gonna have less angles, so less duck. And if you're smaller and you have a wide stance, then you're gonna need to have more open feet. Yeah, when we're riding boots, we have way more support in our landings, so you're not gonna injure your ankle. You know, when you land, your ankles are gonna stay in the same place, your knees are gonna stay in the same place, they're not gonna be twisting. Um, so yeah, they're gonna give you a lot more support, more stability, more control over the board. You're gonna feel that the board is more a part of you, that it's like a separate thing. So that's good if you're going to go for big tricks. The main thing we have to take care of when we're transitioning from struts to boots is when we're uh, crashing, we have to anticipate the crash. And instead of uh, holding on to the bar and losing the board and then going back to recover the board, what we want to do is let go of the bar so that way we're not doing a catapult and we're not getting our board stuck on the water because this is the most painful part of it. So we're thinking that we're wakeboarding and we just let go of the bar. That's why I always recommend to do your tricks unhooked when you're riding boots. Something else we need to know how to recover from crashes. Um, a lot of the times if you have your legs behind you, you can just like hook in and do like a jump and then you can jump uh, and just keep riding, which of course that's the hardest way, but um, at the beginning maybe what you want to do is hook in. If your legs are behind, you help yourself with your hand and you turn a little bit and that's how you recover and keep riding. But yeah, it's better to always keep your boots on your feet and don't undo your boots and do your boots again because that's going to take a lot of time. Well guys, thanks for watching. If you have any more questions or something in, uh, you didn't quite understand, please comment below. And if you find this content interesting, please subscribe to the channel because there's going to be more interesting stuff coming. Thank you.